welcome to Rome, the home of Pasta la Carbonara, the home of the best tiramisu in the world, and most importantly, home of one of the seven wonders of the world, the Colosseum. So I'm now on a beautiful balcony in downtown Rome, just five minutes away from the Colosseum. I have a beautiful view behind me of Rome. Down there, I don't know if you guys can see it, right over there, there, that is the Vatican. Um, over there, that is Piazza Venezia. And then right near Piazza Venezia that we're not able to see from here is the Colosseum. So unfortunately my mom broke her ankle so I wasn't able to go for a walk with her this morning. But I went on a beautiful motorcycle ride with my dad and I did a nice little tour on my own. So I hope you guys enjoy this video of Rome. <laughs> of the seven hills of Rome called Laventino. The great thing about this place that is one of my favorite places in Rome is that actually there's a little hole on this door over here and you're actually able to see San Pietro from this little mm -hmm. hole. So here, come with Vatican over here. 
and as you can see it is literally mind-blowing so over here there's two spots where you can actually see all the columns lined up so you can't see the column behind the first one so it's exactly this spot over here and so over here if you step over here to in centro del colonnato this means that you are not able whatsoever to see the columns behind the first one if you move a little a little you're already able slowly to see the columns behind but if you step on that center you cannot see anything whatsoever and I find it extremely extremely amazing and this is where Pope Francis lives over here and this is Piazza del Vaticano and this is my beautiful dad we're now at Pompi this is Roberta this is Manuela we went to high school together just a few minutes away from here and we are at Pompi. As I said before, <laughs> Pompi is the best tiramisu in the world. And this is what we're eating right now. Mm. And this is panna cotta for those who don't know. Welcome to Roma at night. Roma, Roma, Roma. Core desta città. Unico grande amore di tante tanta gente che hai fatto innamorare. We're now just a few feet away from the Colosseum, which is around right over there. And behind me, we have beautiful ro ruins of a market of about the second century after Christ, so uh, almost 2,000 years ago. And we can just see a few ruins, but it gives us an idea of how Romans market were. It's just mind-blowing to me to imagine how things were actually 2,000 years ago and seeing this and it's still here, it's still held for so long, it's just amazing. And over here behind me, we can see this column. This column is called the Column of Traiano, and all around it, there's different images of the war between Traiano and Idaci. So this column as well was built in the same period, which is the second century after Christ. Hello everyone, so I'm finally home. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Rome by day and Rome by night. I personally enjoy Rome by night more. Um, it's a lot quieter. Um, there's a lot less tourists. Um, during the day, there's so many tourists that you don't actually have the chance to enjoy Rome itself. Um, I feel like um, as a person that has lived in Rome and had studied Roman history, looking at monuments and actually knowing the history and all the hard work and all the meaning behind every single thing that there is in Rome, it is really mind blowing. And this is what I love about Rome, that you know you can walk anywhere and there's always something new. There's, all, there's always something that you haven't seen before. And this is what I find extraordinary. And it is for this reason that I love rocking in Rome. So I hope um, you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions about Rome, feel free to let me know and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!